at Soneva Fushi, one of the most famous hotels known for its eco luxury here in the Maldives. We've had an incredible three days here and we can't wait to tell you all about our stay and everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. We're Voyager Group. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more content just like this. Our first category is location. Location we rate four and a half stars. So Neva Fushi is located in the Ba Atoll, one of the most biodiverse atolls in the Maldives. There's an incredible amount of marine life in this particular atoll, and you're just a 25 minute boat ride away from one of the most famous marine sites in the Maldives, Honey Faru Bay, where you can see manta rays in quantities that you can't see anywhere else. Suneva Fushi is located 45 minutes from Male, so it makes a quick seaplane transfer from the main airport. There are two types of islands in the Maldives. There are man-made islands and there are natural islands. Suneva Fushi is a natural island and it's always had a huge focus on conservation and eco-sustainability. Here on the island, they try to move trees rather than cutting them down. They've really kept this lush, incredible forest. This forest has an amazing amount of life that actually exists in it. In addition to the natural life, like the lizards and amazing birds, they also have a lot of bunny rabbits running around that were not actually natural to the island. Now really the only downside to this island is it is really close to a neighboring island that over the years, it has been developed significantly more than when Suneva Fushi was first developed. And so because of that extended development on that local island and its proximity to Suneva Fushi's island, it is directly in line of many of the villas on the sunset sides view. And that can be something that is a bit unexpected when you're coming to a location that is so remote and so known for its biodiversity and conservation. But we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the rooms category. Our second category is lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in we rate five stars and we truly had a five-star experience. We were arriving from another resort. We were immediately greeted by Suneva staff and we were taken straight to their Tesla Model X waiting for us while they checked us into the seaplane. We never even went into the airport from the boat, which was just a really nice experience. In going with a lot of their sustainable luxury, Suneva has one of the few Teslas in the Maldives that they use as their airport transfer car. And it's a really good way to, again, kind of lower their carbon footprint in addition to a lot of the initiatives that they're doing, which we'll talk a little bit more about in facilities. From there, we were taken straight to the Suneva Lounge, which is a dedicated lounge for the Suneva hotels in the Maldives, which is a really nice, beautiful, calming Zen place right near the seaplane terminal. Suneva is one of a handful of resorts that does have their own plane as well. It is not a guarantee that you are on that plane and you do have to book the specific private charter, but we were lucky enough to be on the Seneva plane, which was one of the best seaplanes we've ever been on. Absolutely. It was comfortable. It had really big seats. And to answer the question that I'm sure it'll come up in the comments is, are seaplanes really fitting in with their eco and sustainability concept? They have an entire program here to offset their carbon footprint through their foundation, where they're actually able to make those flights carbon neutral. And they have an entire report. You can go check it out on their website. They have tons of details about their conservation and you can look it up if that's something that interests you. We actually try traveled on probably the rainiest day we have ever had in the Maldives. And yet the entire experience was really five stars from start to finish. Even in pouring rain, we were taken to the seaplane, onto the property and escorted to our villas almost seamlessly. Our third category is rooms. Rooms were at four and a half stars. So Neva is famous around the world for having some of the most unique and interesting room types available. The general concept of this island is to be rustic in keeping with their eco concept. A lot of these rooms are built of driftwood with incredible wood design and the floors are built out of full planks of wood that are fit together. It's a beautiful, warm and rustic look. So Neva really does have a very wide range of options when it comes to rooms. And what you might be most familiar with are the overwater villas with the slides or the massive villas on land with water slides and massive pools and many bedrooms. While all of the rooms are on the large side and do offer a lot of space for guests, there are a number of rooms, especially the ones facing the other island on the sunset side that are on the older side side and may disappoint travelers looking for a different experience. Now, while they are renovating a lot of these room types, there are certain things in the room that are more rustic as an experience than I think a lot of the travelers that come here and are paying at this price point are expecting. One thing I think that they could certainly improve in these rooms is the lighting systems on this property. They have many different switches, some that are from the older design, some that are from a new design. There are buttons and switches, knobs and other mechanisms. It makes for a very inconvenient experience in the rooms because the rooms are so 
big that it does make it a little bit hard in the evening to figure out where all of the different lights are. I think the lighting in general could improve. And I think that they could still have that really romantic, rustic lighting while still adding a little bit of light for people that would want it. The other thing to keep in mind was this rating was really hard for us to come to. We did rate it four and a half. However, I will say for this island, there really are some rooms that I would put in the three star category based on their view and the condition that the room is actually in. This resort was developed 25 years ago and some of these rooms still feel on the older side. However, some of the rooms are 10 stars. They are beautiful, they are huge, and they are some of the most unique experiences that you're gonna have on any island anywhere. And they do have a number of those room types. And so it's just really important that if you are booking a trip here, you're looking exactly at what room type you're gonna have in advance. And don't be shy about reaching directly out to the property and asking them in advance, the room type that I'm checking into, could you send me a photo of the view? Could you send me what it looks like? What am I next to? How far am I from certain outlets? Make sure you set the right expectations for your stay going in. There are so many different room types and no room is exactly the same as the last. When you're looking on the website, our personal recommendation is to look at the sunrise side or the water villas. We did have the opportunity to check out five different room types while we were here on property. So make sure to go check those out. We've created a full room tour video of those room types. You can check it out linked right up here in the top corner. While some of the entry level rooms leave a little bit to be desired, the higher room categories are incredible. Some of them come with water slides, personal gyms, five, six, seven, eight, nine bedrooms. I mean, the options are truly endless, particularly if you're looking to spend a little bit more money or traveling with friends and family. Our fourth category is service. Service we rate four stars. I do want to caveat that by saying the Barefoot Butlers are some of the most incredible service-minded people we have met here in the Maldives. And particularly our butler, Mickey, has gone above and beyond to make sure we were happy during our stay. The concept that they have of a Barefoot Butler here is very common in the luxury space now where you have a butler to attend to all of your needs while you're here on property. But the butlers here are given an enormous amount of freedom to do a lot of really cool and exciting things for guests. And they have a lot of independence, which makes for a really great service experience. Now, with that said, some of our other service experiences on property were not ideal, particularly for this caliber of a hotel. We did notice that some of the employees were a little bit jaded, particularly those that have been around a long time. However, you have the opposite experience on some of the newer employees or some of the people that are really focused on the hospitality industry. So it makes for kind of an interesting experience where it can be a little bit hit or miss. Definitely depending on which person you're interacting with, in which outlet, across which part of the property, there's a wide variety of service interactions that you have. It would be nice to see more consistency around training, particularly on the guest service side of things. Sineva Fushi is focusing on amazing experiences for guests, incredible rooms, all kinds of conservation projects. But at the end of the day, this is still a luxury hotel experience. And so I think that they need to focus a little bit more on making sure that the entire property is providing that same level of experience as you're getting from the Barefoot Butlers and as you're experiencing across the rooms and some of their incredible experiences. One more thing to note about the service, if you are looking at hotels in this price point, is that the service and the island in general is much more laid back. You can expect personal interactions with employees across the property, whether it's in the dive center or even having a casual conversation with one of the busboys. Employees are even encouraged to have those type of interactions with guests. Now, for some people, that might not be their idea of five-star service. A lot of other resorts offer a more classic version of luxury service. But again, what Sineva Fushi is doing here, none of it's really part of the classic traditional type of service. And so that is just something to expect because if you are going in with the expectation of five-star luxury service, as you would know it in some of the biggest hotels in London or Shanghai, Hong Kong, you are gonna be disappointed. Whereas on the other hand, if you do like those guest interactions and that's something that you're excited about and you wanna engage with staff on the island who have gone to different resorts, who live in the Maldives, who have experienced some of the great things that these islands have to offer, then it really makes for a great experience. Our fifth category is dining. Dining, we rate four and a half stars. We have had some amazing meals here at Suneva Fushi. A couple of cool things about the property is that they do focus so much on sustainability and conservation. They grow a lot of their own herbs and vegetables. They even are considered beef free. They still offer beef on property for guests who are looking for that type of meal. They'll cook you a nice steak, but it's not located on any menus because they're really focused on making luxury more sustainable. They have some incredible concepts on property as well. Between the jungle restaurant where you're eating in the treetops or out on the blue, which is out over the water with hammocks and beautiful seating. It's a really cool experience for our diners. As Marin said, we've had some incredible food here from delicate portions of ceviche and sashimi to even an incredible masala lamb burger that we had at one of the bars. There are so many different food options here and the menus are insanely extensive. The in-room dining menu is a literal <laughs> book. It has so many options with so many different things, including things that take entire days to prepare where they ask you to order 24 hours in advance so that they have time to put together the entire meal. There are an enormous amount of food options here. The one thing I will say is that while so many of these meals were five-star experiences, there was some inconsistency between dishes of what was really incredibly amazing and some that were just 
just all right. They do also offer a large amount of off-property experiences where they'll take you to private sandbanks or offer in-room floating breakfast. There are an incredible amount of options for guests who are traveling, particularly for longer periods of time. One really cool aspect of the dining is the breakfast. The breakfast is set up in a way that there are like a million rooms that you can go into that have salad, a different room has cheese, a different room has meats, a different room has chocolates and ice cream. I mean, the options are truly endless here, particularly for breakfast. And I just mentioned it, but my favorite part of the dining experiences is the free ice cream and chocolate that you can get all day. It's free. You're able to go have as much chocolate and ice cream as you'd like, which is really cool, but also very dangerous. But luckily there's a lot of activities here, so <laughs> we can keep it keep it slimmed down. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities were a four and a half stars. So Nebufushi has absolutely everything outside of your rooms that have just incredible facilities and amenities. There is so much to do on property, ranging from conservation related activities to beach volleyball and the typical yoga, et cetera. They have a lot of very unique experiences in particular. On property, they have an entire glass blowing studio where you have active residency glass blowers that come from all over the world that spend residencies here to blow glass and share the art of blowing glass. They also have a showroom for their pieces, and those glass blowers even make the glass that they use here on property. A lot of the restaurants, the cup vases and glassware that they use are all coming from that glass blowing studio. They also have an observatory set next to Fresh in the Garden, which is that treetop restaurant, which is so fun. And guests can have stargazing experiences with the in-house astronomers. Also, they have some really cool initiatives around sustainably removing mosquitoes from both this island and the surrounding island. And what's so great about programs like this is guests have the opportunity to learn from people. So whether you're going to a science talk with one of the in-house marine biologists or scientists, one thing we really appreciated was in the water sports center and some of the excursions that they offer. Even on the snorkel, our guide told us so much information about turtles, about the fish, things that I've never heard and we have dived and snorkeled here for a long time. And they have so many other things you can do as a family that really engage the whole crew while still being pretty educational. Now, what I will say is everyone here on this property is so forward thinking and have thought of so many different programs but the one problem with that is I do think that there's a little bit of lack of attention to detail to some of the really basic facilities. And I think a lot of things could use some updates. That being said, they are building a lot of new features on the property, like a brand new spa. They're doing some zip line restaurants. And while they're not completed this time, hopefully we'll be able to review them when we come back. But it does sound like they are looking into making some of those updates. And we really hope that that's the case because it is such an incredibly diverse island in terms of activities and facilities. Our final category is style. Style rate, five stars. This hotel is trying to be that Robinson Crusoe, Swiss Family Robinson idea, and they have very much succeeded. If this is the style that you're going for, this rustic beech wood, everything's constructed by hand, look, they have nailed it here. And that's what they've tried to achieve. A huge percentage of the wooden materials and wooden construction that you see in the rooms and the restaurants and across the property actually comes from a carpentry shop that they have here on island where they're producing a lot of their own woodwork. And you see these incredible wood accents across the room, particularly the ones that have been renovated newly, where they have these amazing ceilings that they've decorated with pieces of wood and they just make for such an incredible look in the rooms when you walk in. Even the floors are not standard traditional wood floors. They're actually large cuts of wood. You can see the entire shape of the tree and they fitted them together in these smooth shapes that run across the floor. And they've just done such an incredible job with all the woodworking in here. And they have a lot of cool funky touches too. The way they have little fish that you wrap the curtain drawstring on and little bells that come from outside to ring your door and all kinds of kind of funky things that you would almost find on Gilligan's Island. Things that they've developed that make that kind of rustic beachy, I'm strange on a five-star resort feel. They also do utilize old recycled metals as well to make a lot of the metal accents in the rooms, like knobs and things like that, hangers as well. So they really utilize everything they can on the island and try not to dispose of anything, which really comes through in the style as a very cool, rustic beach vibe. Yeah, one thing we didn't mention in facilities was they have an entire recycling center here on property. And what they can't recycle, they do ship out to be recycled or reused in whatever way it can. They even sell some of their carton, which which they can't recycle here to a recycling center where they're able to upcycle that material. But then here on property, they have smelts where they're actually melting and using their byproduct to be able to actually create accents and decor and art in their renovations of the room. Even the glass studio is something that's been incorporated into this entire concept where they're actually finding bottles, breaking those bottles down into reusable material.
material and then creating the glass that you find both in artwork across the property, but as well as the glassware in rooms and restaurants. Particularly if you're staying in one of the water villas where you have access to that slide. I mean, it is just the most stylish and fun experience that you can have here. Overall, we rate this property 4.6 stars. It is truly, truly unique and you won't find anything like it, I promise you. It has been an incredible experience. And while some of the rooms are better than others, if you are picking the right room for you, you're gonna have an amazing experience. The amount of activities that they have on this property are incredibly diverse. And honestly, the three days that we spent here was certainly not enough to try it all. So there are things that we have missed. There are things that we wish that we were able to do to tell you more about them. But overall, I really do think that this can be an incredible experience as long as you have the right expectations going in about whether or not it's right for you. It's a very unique experience and they are really pioneering the space of eco luxury and doing some incredible things on this island. It's really exciting to see them have sustained so long and also a lot of the cool things that they have coming up and are producing going forward, particularly as renovations happen across the property. And as Marin mentioned, new facilities are being built, new experiences, and hopefully some of those rooms and facilities that are a little older will also go through those renovations. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you don't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are coming out with many more videos from our trip here in the Maldives, as well as many more locations coming up in the next year. So be sure to follow. And of course, if you're booking a trip to the Maldives, make sure to go check out our destination page on our website, where we have all the different hotels that we've reviewed here in the Maldives, as well as tips for booking hotels, seasonality, and everything you need to know before you book. And be sure to check out our photos and videos from our trip on Instagram at Voyager Guru and our daily tips on TikTok at Voyager Guru. So as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there. Thank you.